Have you ever seen a ref blocking a goal? <laughs> or one who ended the game two seconds before the goal? When referees blocks a goal. This ref blew the whistle seconds before Real Madrid scored a goal. The match was between Real and Valencia, and both teams were fighting till the end for the win. That's when the Meringue team managed to score a last-minute goal, but the ref didn't allow it. That would have been the winning goal. He was considered one of the best referees in Spain, but got sidelined after that. But there have been refs doing worse. When the ball hit the post, the ref just disallowed the opponent's goal. Now the question is, was it intentional? In the end, he couldn't do anything to fix his mistake. Now this ref did the opposite and embarrassed himself. When the ball fell in the middle of the box, the guy did this. And the worst part is he still missed the goal. If he was gonna cheat, he should have at least tried not to embarrass himself. Now, what this linesman did was too bizarre. The guy just took down the attacker without mercy. But years ago, a ref even did something worse in a World Cup. In the 1978 World Cup, Brazil was tied with Sweden when, at the very end of the game, Zico scored this header goal. The problem was that the referee had already blown the final whistle in the middle of the corner kick while the ball was still in the air. And for those of you who think all referees are impartial, check out this guy here celebrating a Brazilian team called Flamengo. He was only not as bad as this guy, who gave advantage and did this when the team still lost possession. I think this is the same referee who did this. But this same team has been harmed by a hasty referee before. The ref decided to blow the final whistle two seconds before the Flamengo player stole the ball and scored a goal. But it's not just referees who prevent goals. Look at what this dog did in the middle of the match. This happened in the third division of Argentine, and I think the little dog was more startled than the players. Now, check out the super defense of this little dog in a penalty kick. Looks like that hit hurt. Even in indoor football, a four-legged goalkeeper has appeared. Now, this one arrived late and only participated in the celebration. And this police dog that just wanted to play with the ball? Anyone taking the ball away from him gets arrested. Now, this one here interfered with a goal in a championship final. But the best one is this guy who stole a cleat. I know dogs are innocent, but there are some guys out there who deliberately prevent goals. This ball boy ran onto the field and cleared a goal off the line. The play became so famous, it even got a news report. Especially because there's nothing in the rules that indicate what to do in such a situation. This other ball boy did the same thing years ago. Now check out this save. The problem is it wasn't a goalkeeper, but a ball boy. But the opposite also happened. Look at the goal this ball boy scored. And the worst part is the ref confirmed the goal. Then this ref got caught in the middle of a play, disrupted the move, got tackled, and had to be treated by the medical staff. Now look at how cheeky this guy was. What would you do if he dirtied your cleat like that? But this one here crossed the line with the spray. 
and this ref here disrupting the start of the game. It's not that hard to flip a coin, right? Now check out this super bizarre moment with Ronaldinho Gaucho. The superstar took a free kick that clearly hit the wall, but according to the referee, it was just a goal kick. And when the wizard went to complain, the ref even gave him a yellow card. Look at this steal. And no, this guy isn't a defender, but a referee. At least he didn't take a tumble like this one here. Check out the nerve of the linesman simulating a foul. You could see he didn't even touch him. Speaking of touching, can someone explain what happened here? Look at the big ref disrupting the counterattack. And I'm only not laughing because it seems like it hurt quite a bit. Puyol must still be cursing the ref to this day for getting in his way of stealing the ball from Ronaldo. And this guy who simply asked Salah if he wanted to ref the game? Then this other referee sorts things out in a different way. Neymar had to dribble past even the ref to escape the marking. And there was a ref who even tried to hinder the player from putting on his cleat. But none of them was worse than this one who did something horrible in a World Cup. In 2010, Germany and England had a historic game, but not for the right reasons. Lampard nailed this super shot from outside the box, and I think everyone agrees that the ball went into the right goal? Well, everyone except the ref. And the worst part is that it wasn't even a close call where the ball just went a few inches in. It was clearly visible that the goal was valid. In the end, Germany won the game 4-1, and after the tournament, FIFA authorized the use of goal line technology that shows whether the ball crossed the goal line or not. Something similar happened in this Aston Villa game, but this time it turned ugly for the ref. The goalkeeper went in with the ball, and he stayed inside for quite some time. Everyone saw that the guy took the ball inside the goal, except the ref who didn't call anything on the play. According to the ref himself, he didn't receive any notification from the system that detects whether the ball crossed the goal line. Was it that the ball didn't fully cross the line or was it a system error? At the end of the season, the team that had this goal not counted ended up being relegated by just one point, so the goal really mattered in the end. Now check out what this guy did to Guardiola. He ruined an entire championship. In the 2021-2022 season, Manchester City and Liverpool battled it out point by point for the English Championship. And in a match between City and Everton, the ref did the impossible. Rodri managed to control the ball with his arm inside the penalty area, even with no opponent pressuring him. But neither the referee nor the VAR saw the incident and didn't award the penalty. In the end, Manchester won 1-0. And believe it or not, that penalty changed the entire course of history. In the final round, Manchester City staged a historic comeback and won the championship by just one point ahead of Liverpool. So if that penalty had been awarded, the Reds would likely have been the champions. But that wasn't the only time in that season that Liverpool was harmed by dumb decisions from the referees. In a game against Tottenham, VAR did something bizarre. The match was supposed to be an epic showdown since both teams were unbeaten until then. And then this happened. A fantastic goal by Diaz, right? Wrong. Because the referee flagged for offside. The issue is that the star wasn't offside, and VR did nothing. Later, the English Referees Association confirmed that an error had occurred and that the goal should have been allowed. But that didn't prevent Liverpool's defeat by two, one, 